Hi everyone. Today I wanted to talk about cost estimates for future medical costs. One of the uh, things that a personal injury plaintiff can recover, one of the categories of compensation, are future medical expenses. And the way to prove that is sometimes to use a company that can look at historical data, localized data in your area. So for example, if you have a case in the Bronx, somebody could look at other doctors in the Bronx, physical therapists, surgeons, how, um, what have been the charges that they have actually charged for similar things, such as epidural steroid injections, chiropractic visits, uh, an arthroscopic knee surgery, a percutaneous discectomy, you know, and then what you do is if, if your doctor, your treating doctor believes that this particular, that their particular patient is going to need this treatment, you use that company to then tell you about other historical localized data. And then um, they tell you what the amounts are. And then your treating doctor will testify as to how often, for example, physical therapy might be twice a week and it might be $100 a session. And then your economist will extrapolate that over the life expectancy tables for the client for the next 30 years or 40 years um, as per the pattern jury instructions. And now what you have is you have very powerful data because you have a treating doctor giving the opinion that he or she believes this particular patient that they've been caring for for you know years and years, this particular patient is going to need future physical therapy. You have that localized company talking about other physical therapy providers in that particular city, how much they're charging and, um, and actual data. So you know that it's accurate. You're not um, saying like a physical therapy visit's gonna be a thousand dollars or something crazy because you're basing it on actual data. And you have your economic expert coming in and talking about um, inflation and talking about uh, the, the value, the economic value of that future medical care. So when you add it all up together in a serious case, such as in a brain injury case, in a uh, case involving spinal cord injury, such as a spinal fusion, it could be a very, very large total amount because you're gonna need uh, future MRI films. And, and one MRI could be 1,500 to $2,000. You're gonna need physical therapy two or three times a week. And one physical therapy visit could be 100 or $150. One surgery such as a fusion could be anywhere from 30,000 up to even $100,000 if it's a multi-level fusion. Then you have hospital costs, you have prescription medication costs, chiropractic costs, uh, you know, so, so it, uh, anesthesiology costs, it all adds up. So in some cases, the future medical expenses could, you know, be close to a million dollars or even beyond that. So it's very important to do this, to um, use these types of experts and to present that to the insurance company because what you're essentially telling the insurance company is that you have this economic data that is irrefutable because you, you have this localized proof. And sometimes these companies, they base it on 100,000 uh, other uh, treatments, 100,000, they, they survey 100,000 other providers and they can prove that 100,000 other providers in this particular city, like in New York City, will charge from 100 to 150 dollars for each physical therapy record. So it's almost like irrefutable evidence. Your doctor is saying that you need it and the more proof that you could submit that, that, that the patient needs it, the better. And then you have the economist who's going to extrapolate it and talk about inflation and, and the costs going forward um, and, and the total projections, economic projections. So it's very powerful evidence because what you're essentially telling the insurance company is that you have this economic data, which are kind of like hard numbers because they, they can't be changed. And then in addition to that, you're also gonna have your non-economic damages claim, which is your um, amount that you're seeking as compensation for all of the harms and losses to the person, such as the uh, loss of uh, the ability to enjoy life, the, 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 the fact that the person's gonna have to suffer with pain and, uh, and have suffering for the rest of their life. So those are the non-economic damages. Those could potentially and should, in most cases, be even larger than the economic damages. But when you have both, you're just increasing the total damages and increasing the total compensation available to your client. So it's a very powerful tactic. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. Let us know if you have any questions and we look forward to speaking with you again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone.